Hey guys, uh, following up with another Z31 toy video like I did with that yellow RC car from Radio Shack. This time I'm going to show you my personalized, custom-made uh, Z31 after my black 89 here. Um, I'm not going to bother taking the car out from underneath the, the storage here of the four-post lifts. But to give you a general idea of the what the car looks like, right? We've got the uh, black wheels, chrome lip, black car obviously. <laughs> exhaust take note of the exhaust and my new Tennessee license plate um, here is my one-tenth scale version I made from the ABC hobby kits that came out a while ago you, you can no longer get these unfortunately unless you find one on on eBay um, they were about 300 bucks back in the day but they're hard to find now but as you can tell I went to the nth degree making sure everything was pretty much accurate as possible I even made a little license plate for it just like mine so found some matching wheels um, I can't remember where I got them from like I said it was a long time ago even painted the calipers red just like the car itself even has a Shiro lip and it has the uh, Euro turn signals just like my car does the ABC hobby kit does not come with a spoiler so I took a piece of balsa wood and hand carved this myself combination of using a sander and a dremel and whatnot but it looks pretty much identical to the car itself which is right in front of it so what's cool about this kit is it has functional headlights turn lights stop lights and reverse lights and it all works just fine i recently repaired it because uh during the move some of the wires got i guess pushed or what have you in the box that it was in so i have to take it apart and do some soldering replace an led but it's uh it's all back and working so what I'm going to do now is take it out and show you what it looks like while driving and uh, just the extreme hobbyist of a Z31 person that I am. So let's just walk this back to the uh, back of my truck here so I can show you what it looks like on the inside. There's the remote for it. So normal RC cars, you drill holes for the, uh, you know, the, to put the hood pin, if you will. But I didn't want to do that to this car. So I just simply used uh, adhesive Velcro, which uh, on, on top of the post there, and it works pretty well with some uh, dried hot glue. But there's the wiring, and there's all the wiring you did, I did for the, the lights. Um, it looks kind of hokey inside, but you can't see from the outside, and that's all that matters. I even put LEDs of where the speedometer would be, and uh, it works out pretty well. So uh, this is an HPI Drift 2 car. The only thing that went wrong with it over the course of owning this for like 10 years is the speed controller went out. So I had to get an upgraded speed controller, which I'm happy with because I'm allowed to change the mode of drive. So you can go full sport mode or you can go training mode, which is 50% power. And I'm not doing any drifting with this car. It's more just for car shows and whatnot. So reduced power is fine for me to just show off the car and have fun with it. So, like I said, it's all Velcro, so to put it back on, you just simply flop it over, center the wheels. Yes, it would look more centered every time if I used the actual pins, but I didn't want to drill holes. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like outside. Okay, let's turn it on and check out the LEDs turning on. So, check that out. Got headlights, fog lights, and the European turn signals, which have the, the white outer markers there. Now check this out, we're gonna turn the uh, car to the left, turn signal, and then turn signal, fully functional. Let's walk around the back, and if you notice, you can see the side markers are actually lit as well. And then here's the rear of the car, and let's check out the turn signals again on the left and right. So what I'm gonna do now, right now it has running lights for the uh, tail lights, uh, but I'm gonna drive it forward, hit the brakes, and the, the brake lights will actually turn on. And following that, I'm gonna hit reverse, and you'll see the center reverse lights actually turn on as they should in a real car. So check this out. So there's the brake lights, and here comes reverse. All right, now let's go out for a little drive just to see how this thing looks like at night. Here we go. the turn signals as if I'm about to make a turn. And what's interesting is that if you do a full clock turn, that's when they turn on, but if you do less of a turn, 
it'll turn off as if you know you're just doing a normal turn which is pretty cool so full turn we'll kick it on and vice versa let's back it up and then here goes the brake lights again So it's all done through that con the lighting controller inside the car that interacts with the communication signals from the controller itself. So everything about it's fully functional and uh, it just works great. A little fun toy I take to car shows. I don't do anything crazy with it. It's just a little hobby. But I like having a replica of my car. I even have a Hot Wheels that looks identical to this and my real car, of course. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.